In an exciting event, Catherine, Princess of Wales, has made a grand entrance into central London to mark the reopening of the National Portrait Gallery. Following three years of extensive refurbishment, the Art Centre is ready to welcome visitors once again. Princess Catherine looked absolutely stunning as she captivated onlookers with her elegant white self-portrait dress, adorned with black details, perfectly complemented by matching black aquasura heels. The princess's visit holds special significance as it precedes the official reopening of the gallery to the public on June 22. This redevelopment project marks the most transformative endeavor undertaken by the gallery since 1896. The efforts have resulted in over 50 new acquisitions and the renovation of the Grade I listed building, ensuring a captivating experience for all art enthusiasts. Upon arrival, Princess Catherine engaged in meaningful discussions with project architect Jamie Fobert and artist Tracy Ammon on the forecourt. Notably, Tracy Ammon was commissioned to create a remarkable artwork for the gallery's new doors. The artwork incorporates 45 carved brass panels, symbolizing the essence of every woman throughout time. Additionally, Princess Catherine explored the Mildred and Simon Pelly Learning Center, a crucial part of the gallery's redevelopment. Given her keen interest in early years learning, the princess actively participated in a multisensory workshop that focused on the works of Beatrix Potter, specifically tailored for nursery children. During the workshop, Princess Catherine shared delightful conversations with the young participants, including three-year-old Rania. Together, they immersed themselves in the enchanting world of Peter Rabbit, one of Beatrix Potter's most beloved characters. The Under Fives program, launched in collaboration with local family hubs and nurseries, aims to foster creative learning and play within the gallery's walls. Since its inception in September, it has made a significant impact in encouraging young minds to explore their imagination. Furthermore, Princess Catherine had the opportunity to admire some of the gallery's latest acquisitions, including the esteemed work titled Portrait of My, Oh My by Joshua Reynolds. This sought-after portrait, acquired jointly by the gallery and Getty, was made possible through a historic fundraising campaign. Both institutions have agreed to share the painting, ensuring maximum accessibility for the public while maintaining its research and conservation care. Another captivating exhibition that caught Princess Catherine's attention was Hivond, Life in Color. This exhibition highlights the life and achievements of the pioneering London photographer, Yevand, who introduced the use of color in her pictures during the 1930s. Princess Catherine's visit to the National Portrait Gallery not only signifies the reopening of a cultural landmark but also showcases her passion for the arts and commitment to engaging with various causes close to her heart. Her presence and genuine interactions with artists, children, and supporters further highlight her unwavering dedication to making a positive impact in the lives of others.